What's going on y'all? I am going to try and repack the bearings on our RV. I finally got, hopefully, everything that I need to accomplish the job. Now it's just a matter of getting these tires off the ground. Got quite a bit of stuff. Uh, no, not that. <laughs> got uh, some red wheel bearing grease. I've got a seal puller. I got some seals. They just arrived from UPS. Got something squishy for, you know, cushioning. Something squishy for the knees. I got a breaker bar to try to get off the lug nuts beforehand. I'm going to try and use the jacks, which I've already brought it up some. In fact, that one doesn't lift with it for some odd reason. I don't really understand the leveling system and how that works. If I want to lift one side, why wouldn't that one also participate in the lifting? I don't really understand what Lippert did when they designed this. I got some all-purpose vinyl gloves. Few other items for other things like uh, when I was talking about washing the car everybody recommended I get like a bag of rags so there's a bag of rags and our chains I, I struggle with keeping our chains on our bicycles lubricated and I just found that at Ace Hardware also got some blue shop towels some brake cleaner because we will be dealing with the brake area and a mallet now this is something that I've not ever done before and I've been watching other YouTubers videos of how to do this and I don't want to take y'all down that path and, and try to get too detailed yet because I don't have a lot of experience I'm worried about doing it right myself I'll try to show y'all footage of when I can but I'm not gonna sit there and try to give you that detailed one I will recommend two videos that I used as my reference points uh, one is our vision nomadic living Sean did a great job on an open range and the other one is the YouTube channel Why Wait. Just a guy, the, the guy, I, I feel really bad. I don't know his name off the top of my head, but he does an amazing job doing maintenance things for his RV. And his video is so detailed. Why recreate the wheel when I'm just gonna do what he taught me? I'll show you what I can show you. Well, this is my first time taking a wheel off of this open range. So I started out using the leveling jacks and then I decided not to continue with that, especially considering the last time I was pushing these jacks too hard, the one on the other side is having problems. And the amount of leveling problems I've had, let's just stop. So I'm putting to test my theory here, double stacking these red Anderson blocks, and then there's a 12 ton jack there, which is doing the job. But I don't, <laughs> four ton Duralast, so those probably are not big enough. I probably should upgrade those jack stands. And I have so far done this with the slide out. I'd say from the amount of people I've talked to and asked about whether or not I should leave the slide out or put it in, because it's a huge inconvenience to the family if I have to bring them all in. Then the girls have to get out and they can't access food or drink or their restroom or their clothes or a lot of things. All you can really access then at that point is the master bathroom and bed. So I have asked a lot of people and I've gotten kind of a 50-50 answer as whether or not you need to bring the slides in. I'm doing one wheel at a time. I already know what Sean's gonna say when he watches this video and, and sees what I've done. <laughs> the uh, lug nuts were three quarter inch. I was able to get those off using the breaker bar that I had and my impact driver with a uh, 3 8 adapter into the impact driver. That made that go by faster. I need to hurry up and get this done. I'm gonna wind up running out of daylight and it's supposed to rain tomorrow. Well, those hubs were far dirtier than I was expecting. And I pretty much used probably two thirds to three fourths of my can of grease, which is the only can of the red grease on this peninsula. So, Thankfully the rain, we had rain today. It's looking like the rain for tomorrow is being pushed back. So maybe uh, driving over to Galveston on the ferry tonight just so that I can get more grease so that I can be more prepared and ready to tackle the rest of this tomorrow. I'm exhausted. I had to make some adjustments to how I was sitting. I was sitting on this padded cushion thing, one padded cushion thing, and my left leg was so far asleep I could not feel my foot at all. So then I added, I have like this memory foam seat cushion, and then there's like this three inch lift step stool I have for, I don't even remember why I bought it, but this actually made a much better sitting situation for me to sit down under the slide. 
I still had the clearance I needed for my head. My leg didn't hurt near as much and I was able to kind of finish the job. But the bearings were so dirty. So I was supposed to keep on packing the red stuff, the red grease into the bearings until it runs red all the way through. And every time you'd push it in there, you'd wind up with dirt coming out the other side and having to clean it out. So I had to keep doing that to the point where, like I said, I, I used well over two thirds of a can. And there's, I've been to all the stores out here. There's not a lot in Crystal Beach. The Ace Hardware, the True, no, the Parkers do it best. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go see who I can drive to. And it's almost eight. Oh crud, I better go. AutoZone's open till 10, Walmart's open till 11. Hopefully they've got something in stock. The whole family went. They didn't like being away from me for so long. So they're all in the truck for the ride. They don't care if we're out late. Oh, there is another ferry. Right over there. We were thinking there was only one ferry running tonight. I like keeping track of which ones they are. We're on the Gib Gilcrest again. Hasn't been very talkative today. Not very many people on that one either. It's nice to know that they operate two at a time. I can't imagine they go down to one at a time. Okay, for some odd reason, it's even more windy when I sit right here. Too much engine noise. That's a pretty cool background. Still too windy. It's not too bad. Getting your hands to do what you want when it comes to repacking the bearings, it's a learning experience. I probably wasted a lot of grease that I just, I didn't know what I was doing. It's my first time ever doing it. It's very messy, very, I'm so glad I have a lot of gloves because it's so sticky. And that sticky is a bad word in my household. It's, it's a, a big learning curve for me to deal with this. So I definitely, I want to get it done. They were really dirty. This is a 2020 model, and as dirty as it was, I highly suspect that it hadn't been done ever since the RV was manufactured. Not even having it extra pumped in or anything. I'm glad that I'm getting this done. I sure would hate to be on the way up to Maine, somewhere in New York, New Jersey, somewhere, and wind up having a massive wheel failure scary thought. There's still so much more to it though. I mean the springs, the springs look like they could be about ready to be changed. All of the moving parts down there around the axles. It's a lot to think about. This is one of those things where people think they're going to move into an RV because it's going to be cheaper. Not the case. The only way that that would work is if you are someone that's stationary. You're going to live in an older RV. You're not going to move it around a lot. You're going to stay in one place. Because to keep these RVs moving, that's where the money comes in. Being able to make sure you've got a vehicle that can pull it, that you've got all this stuff well maintained, and that you're able to keep up with registration and insurance, it's a lot. <laughs> it, it's, it's a lot to deal with. Ships started rocking a lot. I think we hit like that main area where the big ships go through, and we just start bobbing side to side. So it's looking like taking care of these wheel bearings is gonna be an all week job. So if we're getting close to port, I better go get back in the truck. Here's the port. There's the other ferries that are currently resting. so busy running around I didn't have time to make supper now it's late it's after 11 o'clock at night and people are hungry so they let you go into the dining room 24 hours a day what a burger we can now eat it on the way back to the ferry I'm tired I'm tired it's midnight and we are all alone 
on this side. There's people on the other side. Can you even see me? No? <laughs> How about that? Can you see me now? The question is, can you hear me? This is the DeWitt, DeWitt Greer. It doesn't have the benches in the middle to sit on. I don't know if it's an older model or what. about RVing to Crystal Beach. I recommend that you definitely plan ahead. You can't take things willy-nilly when you're gonna stay there because of the lack of shopping, places that you can go to take care of things. You definitely need to either not need to do something or plan ahead. Even like getting things shipped, everything was a little bit more difficult. Like first, we get gummies, melatonin gummies. And we, we like a specific kind. And for some bizarre reason, like if we had still been at the Thousand Trails on the north side of Houston, could have delivered to us tomorrow. But since we were at Crystal Beach, that item, that product, they, they were like, well, we don't know when we can get it to you. That was, that was Amazon's official documentation. Other things, Amazon could get to us the next day. It was so bizarre. I know I've been talking Crystal Beach, Crystal Beach, can't, can't even talk, it's late. It's, it's literally after midnight. This video has to be out in less than eight hours. I'm tired, I'm exhausted. Tanya, she didn't want to stay home and, and have me off gallivanting around Galveston, and I understand that. But now the girls are, are up, we're all tired. It's gonna be an interesting night. Still have to shower, exciting stuff. I'm hoping this is the last ferry ride. We'll see. It just, it takes so much time. We got to the ferry to come over at eight, now it's midnight, just so we can get some red grease to finish up the trailer. What am I gonna do? It is what it is. I think I'll end the video on that note. Like I said, there's gonna be more talking about repacking the bearings on the trailer, on the RV, because it's not gonna be finished in one day. I, Hopefully, I can finish it in day two. We'll see. We'll see. Thank y'all so much for watching. I'm tired. It's already tomorrow. <laughs> Hope y'all have a wonderful day. Remember, life happens. Even running out of something important you need, don't let it stop you. Stay fresh, cheese bags.